Hey there, my name's Drew Brashler, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get the Behringer X32 with Wave Super Rack Performer using reverb out of Wave Super Rack Performer. If you're brand new to my channel, I'm all about helping you feel more confident in your production gear no matter where you're starting from. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now, to get Wave Super Rack Performer set up, that's gonna be in a different video. So if this is your first time getting Wave Super Rack Performer set up on your Behringer X32, make sure to check out my other videos and I have one dedicated just for doing so. But in this case, I'm wanting to get reverbs from Waves. For instance, my favorite reverb from Waves is the H reverb. It's a very, very good reverb that I love to use. But I'm wanting to get that working with my X32. So I want to set up a mix bus, send it to Waves, and have that come back into my console so that I can use the reverb from Waves. Now to do this, I'm going to be using the aux inserts. So the downside of this is the aux inserts that are on the back, the aux input Inputs and aux outputs, I won't be able to use those if I'm doing it this way. But I will show you how to do it with just the first four, which will still give you aux five and six with the RCA jacks to continue playing your background music or iPod or whatever you want. So in this case, I'm going to first make sure that my bus 13 is my vocal verb. So I have a microphone here. So I'm going to go ahead and get some gain going here. Check, check, check. And I'll go ahead and turn this up so we can hear it. Check, check. One, two. So we have this vocal mic working. Now I want to send it to Mixbus 13, which is going to be my effects. So I'm going to go ahead and select Mixbus 13, hit sends on fader, and turn this up. Now right now, I have reverb happening in my mix bus 13. And we can go to my effects returns and we can see that I have verb here. So if I go to my effects, we can see that it's a vintage room. But I don't want my effects coming from this vintage room. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and turn this to insert and insert. And that way I have this last effects return available to be an insert on whatever channel I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this down and mute the effects return. Now, in my setup, I am going to go into routing, go to my card, and my expansion card is going to pull one through eight coming from my aux one through six mon. And then my input is going to come on the aux ins from card one through four. Now, this is going to make it so that my Aux one through four is looking at the inputs coming from my card, which is connected to Wave Super Rack Performer on my laptop. Now, aux five and six are still the RCA and the TRS on the back of the board, so I can still use these two channels. In fact, if I was only wanting to do one set of verb coming back into the console and I still needed to use aux three and four, I could simply select card one through two, and now my aux three through six is available to me locally on the board. But I'm going to go ahead and select card one through four so I can set up two verbs on waves. The next thing I need to do is I need to select my Mixbus 13, go to home, and tab over to my config page. Now, once I'm here, I'm going to ro rotate my sixth rotary knob until we get to aux one, and I'm going to press connect. And once I do that, that means that my bus 13 is sending out my card into Wave Super Rack Performer. Whatever routing I need to do in Super Rack Performer, we will do in a minute. But then that means that this is going to come back on aux one or aux one and two, depending if I want to have it as a mono or a stereo setup. If you are using the XLive card like I am, you will need to go into setup and go to card to the second page and make sure that your playback config is set to USB interface, which is important because we want to have these cards coming in from the computer with the USB interface. If you're using the XUSB or the XUF card, you won't need to do this step. So my next thing is setting up Wave Super Rack Performer. So we can see that I have Wave Super Rack Performer here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my input from my XLive card. And this is going to be on input one. And automatically, we can see that I have signal here. So as I talk into this microphone, we can see that there's signal. 
Now, my next thing that I want is I want my reverb inside of Wave Super App Reformer to be stereo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my output, and I'm going to select stereo, X Live, out one and two. So this is a mono input and a stereo output. The next thing I want to do is on my X32, I want to link these two auxes together. So I'm going to select aux one, press view in the configuration and preamp, and then press link, and I will confirm. And that way, this is treated as a stereo pair. The next thing that I want to do is add whatever reverb I want. So go ahead and hit the plus, go to your plugin list, go to reverb, and go select your favorite reverb. So in this case, I'm going to do mono and stereo because I want my return to be stereo. If, if I select mono, there's no point in having two aux taken up from this one effects rack. So if I wanted to select a mono verb, I would make sure to go back to my output and change this to mono and just do out one. But I'm wanting a mono in and a stereo out. So go to reverb. We'll go to my H reverb mono stereo. And at this point, we could open this up. And we can see that as I talk into this, I'm getting audio coming in. And if I start turning up my aux one and two, we will hear this in the mix. Now, one thing to mention about reverbs is reverbs take up a lot of CPU usage. So one thing that I love to do is if you are dedicating this Super Act Performer just to reverbs, we can go to setup and we can set our buffer size to 1024 because latency at this point doesn't matter as much as if we were using insert plugins on a specific vocal mic. For instance, if I was trying to use one of the CLA-76s on this vocal mic, I would want to have my buffer size pretty low. But in this case, since I'm only using it for reverb, I can set my buffer size to 1024, have a lower CPU usage on my laptop, and be okay with having a little bit of extra latency. You can just think of it as an extra amount of pre-delay. So check, check, check. Here I now have my H reverb. So let's go ahead and set up my second channel to be for my delay. So I'm gonna go to my aux returns and I'm going to mute that. I'm then gonna go into my effects section, go to home, and I'm going to rotate down until we get to my effects rack two. And I'm gonna set this to insert. Once I've done that, I'm going to select my mix bus 14, press sends on fader, and turn my vocal mic up into it. I will then get back out of sends on fader. I will then press home and tab over to the config section with my mix bus 14 selected. I'll then go down to my aux 2, and I'll go ahead and press connect. Now this now means that this microphone, check, 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 is going to be coming out Mixbus 14 going into aux 2. And my card will see that on input 2. So we can go to X Live, input 2. A warning is going to pop up saying that we are already using our input routing of 2 for our first rack. So to not overdo this routing, we're just going to press cancel because we still want input one coming to out one and two, and then we're gonna have input two coming to out stereo three and four. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and select our delay. Some settings that I like to set here is to have this be on host, and then I will set this to a dotted eighth. And then we can then use this tap tempo button up here to set our tap tempo for all of our plugins. The next thing I like to do is set my high pass to be about 150 and my low pass to be about 6K. At this point, we are ready to go back to the X32 and turn this up. So we can go to our aux page and we can listen to this. Check, check. Check, 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 check. So that amount so of feedback is a lot. Is a so lot. I'm going to go ahead and turn down the amount of feedback that I have. Check, check. Check, check. Perfect. And then the next then thing the next I need thing to thing do is link, link my aux three, three and four, four so, it so it treats these as a stereo, stereo pair. pair. So there we go. There check, we go. Check. Check, check. check, check. So we can go ahead and unmute my verb. And we have my verb and my delay sitting here. 
Now, if I wanted to have my delay return going into my verb, which is typically something that I love to do, we can go ahead and select our aux three and four, and we can send it to our mix bus 13, which is our reverb send. So we have aux three and four selected. I can go to sends on fader and turn this up. And at this point, check. check. My verb is getting my delay. So my delay is going into my verb and making it a more complex sound. Check, check. check, check. And if I was to go to sense on fader with this selected and I was to mute this, check, check. 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 You can hear the difference. Check, check. Check, check. Check, check. Check, check. Check, check. Check, check. Which that is the sound that I love to have. I like to have my verb being fed from my delay. I hope this video was helpful for you. This is something that's super exciting having this available to us of having a verb and a delay from Waves working on the Behringer X32. If you do happen to have any questions, make sure to put that in the comment section down below. Also, if there's a video that you're hoping that I would make on the Behringer X32 or really any of the mixers that are out there, please put your idea in the comment section down below because I'm always reading through those comments to find videos that are gonna be helpful for you. If if you haven't already, make sure to check out my website at drewbrashler.com. I actually have an X32 fundamentals course over there where I teach through my favorite five fundamentals on the Behringer X32. So you can check out more about that at drewbrashler.com. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day.